Astros in New York. It's late night with Conan O'Brien. Tonight, Shannon Gordy, director, Martin Scorsese, the music of Counting Crows, and the truth about Adam and Eve. was so unnecessary no we have a uh, we have a show worthy of someone screaming uh great show tonight we got amazing guests here this evening we got a lot of fun stuff planned. we're gonna have a good old time we're all liquored up uh <laughs> no i said that because it's wrong <laughs> and uh a few things to discuss here at the top of the show i don't know if you're following the presidential race yet it's really heating up year to it's coming up. It's in a year now. It's in less than a year. And, uh, and so everyone's out there, and they're making their statements. The candidates are trying to tell you who they are. And uh, I thought this was interesting. At a campaign event yesterday, presidential candidate John McCain, you've heard of him. He's actually doing quite well. John McCain, that's right. His people are here, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, John McCain gave a speech, and this is what he said. He said that he does not, does not have a problem with his temper. That's what his speech was about. That's right. That's right, yeah, McCain then added, and the next dirtbag who asked me is gonna get bitch slapped. <laughs> that was he. He, you know, was, which is. That's how, that's how you bitch slap right there. <laughs> that was how I fought in third grade, by the way. It involved that and then me running. Uh, Danny Glover, actor Danny Glover, y'all know him. He has filed, he's in the news. He has filed a complaint against the city of New York claiming that New York cab drivers refuse to pick him up because he's black. So he filed a complaint. Yeah, Glover said it's either that or they saw Lethal Weapon 3. <laughs> and they, uh, which I stand behind that joke. It wasn't good as one and two, but still a fine picture. President Clinton's in the news. It's been reported that President Clinton cannot move into his New York house. He bought a New York house. He can't move in yet because there's still a lot of security work to be done on the house. That's right. Clinton says he'll move in as soon as the Secret Service installs surveillance cameras in the neighbor's bedrooms. <laughs> then he's ready to go. Because he's a... He's a dirty, dirty man. All right, and then... Got to mention this. I, I thought this was very ironic. In Virginia, a high school driver's ed teacher, a high school driver's ed teacher has been arrested for drunk driving. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, police knew something was wrong because the teacher had a bumper sticker that said, how is my drinking? <laughs> so I thought... Doing? Are you listening to the radio while I'm telling jokes? <laughs> All right, okay. What was it you were listening to right there? Seriously. Hey, hold it up so people can see. I look over and I thought he was listening to a transistor radio while I was doing... Oh, okay, great. <laughs> you bastard. All right. Uh, let's talk about tonight's show. We have a... Uh, we got a great show for people to see. We have an amazing... You haven't heard yet. I love that you just trusted... I have so much trust with the American people that all I have to do is say it's a good show. That's all I have to do. Isn't that something? Well, now I'll tell you, we're reuniting the extras from different strokes. And, uh, 
Not even the not even the stars. No, we have a great show tonight. We do uh, from the show Charmed, which is a big hit. We're we're thrilled to have you here. This is her, actually her first time on the show. Shannon Doherty. Is on the show. Very, very beautiful woman. Looking forward to meeting her. We are, we're thrilled to have the director of the new film, Bringing Out the Dead. Real honor to have him here, Martin Scorsese. And uh, musical guest this evening, ladies and gentlemen, thrilled to have him here, Counting Crows. Playing his trumpet as always, Jimmy Vivino <laughs> and the Max Weinberg Seven. Give it up. <laughs> Gentlemen. 